Hey, hey, it is Tuesday the 20th of June, and I am looking at a Taco Tuesday. I love Taco Tuesdays. I have a place just down the street from my work that's called Beto's, and it is a great taco shop. And I love going there on Tuesdays. They have some good specials. Let's start with some Wolf Capital. Uh, now that I've consolidated it, it's kind of boring. I'm just like, okay, I'm waiting for a week. <laughs> so knowing that I just barely started, like a week or two, uh, I thought I'd at least try that out. Um, 3,800. I do see it says total withdraws, 3,992. Uh, so it included the consolidation or the merge as a, a withdrawal. Um, it does say number of stakes eight, but I haven't figured out how to separate those to see those eight stakes. But maybe it just consolidated my seven into the eighth, and now I'm just not going to see them. And it just is giving me a, a, a total of how many times I've staked. It doesn't really need to be broken down anymore. Uh, daily earnings, $42. Still have... That says nine days and 9.2 days left for the ultimate till it stops accumulating. But I can claim it after seven days. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure we're far ahead on the, on the battle. And yep, definitely almost doubled there. 62, still got two days left. So hopefully that'll go up above 7,000 like last week. That would be great. Uh, Wolf Capital just going strong. I do like how they um, are adjusting this as they are not just trying to be a Ponzi and just say, hey, here's this huge daily percentage and we're paying everyone out with the money that's coming in. They're actually, if they have a bad week, then they drop the daily percentage. So it makes sense. I love that. Hopefully it's a good, a good clue for longevity, right? Also wanted to give you a one sentence update on DiamondBot Pro. It says, the PGB creator has messaged me several times. I will keep this message short, just as I told him all pending payouts will be fulfilled by Friday. And I know he said he'll start tomorrow. I think we've been calling him on erasing these like Manny did, so now he's keeping them up, <laughs> even if they're wrong. So he said he started yesterday, but I have not seen on any threads or anything that he's actually fulfilled anything on Monday. But we're promised by Friday, right? And he's never broken his promises before. <laughs> All right, so enough of that. So I'm gonna come over to Ultimo and I've had a couple of questions about how to charge the card, the debit card. Um, so I'm gonna just run through it again with another transaction of mine. So first you want to pick which coin you're gonna be depositing into your account. I'm going to do Tether from Tron Network. So I'm going to hit Deposit. That's going to bring up this page here. And right here, select the network. So you click on Tron. They got Ethereum and BNB, so BEP20. So I'm going to do Tron. Here's my address. I'm going to copy that. For some reason, it darkens it. So I'm going to just copy, like, Control-C. Control C and then I'm going to go to my Tron link. This one has USDT 1700 in there. So I'm going to click on that and hit send. Paste the address here. That's the same address. Click next. Then it's going to ask how much. I'm going to hit max, but I'm going to take off the cents. 1750 which says I'm gonna about 1749 
So then I'm going to send that sign. Transaction submitted, confirm. All right. Now if I There it is. It is gone. Back down to $108 in TRX. Okay, so this one usually comes pretty quick. So I'm going to hit dashboard and see if it's already there. Not just yet. Usually I get a little pop up alert that says it took off. Oh, there it was. You have transferred. Okay, and I hit refresh, and there it is. That only was about 30 seconds long. Now what I'm going to do is sell. So the very next thing you do is you sell your 1750. And of course, it's not exactly on peg, so you always get something different. But amount of USDT, 1750. And oh, this time I'm going to get 1706 in dollars so it looks like it uh, went over peg there proceed to sell so this thing runs like this and sometimes it lasts indefinitely <laughs> so a lot of times I just get out of it um, without canceling I don't necessarily cancel it I just uh, refresh once I refresh it comes up or I can go to my dashboard and there it is in my dashboard so yeah I, I sat there one time for several minutes and just watched that thing spin and I'm like eh. so I went back and there it is so 17 so 1706 looks like there was a 2% fee for the sell and now for the load I'm gonna load And I'm going to put in 1706. Hit load card. Verifies it. Then you'll see this turn like a light green. There it goes. And it usually takes, you know, it could take up to an hour to three hours. Um, I haven't really seen it go faster than that. Some people have said it's gone pretty fast. I guess it just depends on the time of day. But that'll pop into there. And we'll just have uh, somewhere around 6,400. And I'm actually going to go to the bank today and withdraw some cash. So I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow. Anyway, pretty. Uh, Pretty plain and easy way to get your off-ramp cash. And with this debit card, it's a, it is a debit card that you can actually pay bills and do that stuff, kind of stuff on. It's a Visa card. So uh, also just make sure when you do cash, they say to, to check off the savings account because this is a savings account, not a checking account. So whenever you go to withdraw cash, just do it by savings account and put in your pin number and just remember this is a six digit pin number so you have to find a bank that allows for six digit pins to be put in a lot of banks have four digit pins only so just I know Wells Fargo worked for me and then my credit union worked for me also all right I think that is all I wanted to go over today um, this weekend is the the crypto program summit that'll be interesting to see like some of the news that comes out of that they say they have all kinds of updates and news for us so that'll be good um, and be sure and get your go to the crypto website uh, crypto program dot me forward slash login and get in there and change your payout address to a Tron wallet uh, wherever you have that I know Exodus 
allows for Tron um, and I just do my Tron link and but put that in, um, wallet address in there and um, make sure you don't skip a payment. All right. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye.